Hey, hello again. Richard Blackstone with today's Create One Love Note. And uh, what I do is I send these love notes out every day to my subscriber list. And if you'd like to get on that list, uh, just go to uh, createonelove.com. There's a place to sign up for the love notes. Uh, just click on there, sign up. They're free. Uh, they come every morning. And uh, the people that get them, uh, I get so much tremendous feedback about how it really helps their day get going. They're real motivational. Well, you're listening to them right now. So uh, these are what the love notes are. These are actually past love notes that I've uh, put into video form. And so we're just going to continue the process in a video uh, format too. I, I love it too. I, I like the personalized uh, kind of thing here. Plus I get to talk a little bit more about the love note after it's over. So what I do is I'm going to read the love note and then uh, we'll just talk about it for a minute or so um, to see how it applies to your life. Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> one of my favorite mentors, actually. So let's get started with today's love note. It says, um, Henry David Thoreau, one of my all-time favorites, told us, simplify, simplify, simplify. His good friend, Ralph Waldo Emerson, another one of my favorite mentors, replied, I think one simplify would have sufficed. <laughs> you know, we live in a world where life can be very confusing because we are bombarded daily with stimuli specifically designed to get you to buy more and more material possessions. Many of these are marketed to us as labor-saving devices. Do we really need all this stuff? Are you saving a lot of labor by using all these things or are you adding to an already underutilized and overinflated inventory of material overload? When you simplify, you allow for something better to come in. Often the something better is not in the form of a material possession, but in the form of a more enlightened way of living. Simplify. 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 <laughs> hey, did Thoreau have it right? You know, I, I, I find myself, uh, you know, when I uh, release the clutter um, and uh, try to simplify my life, uh, it does uh, um, leave a space of opportunity for other things to come in. And, uh, you know, uh, since I've been on my spiritual journey, I, I realized that, you know, a, a lot of these material possessions, uh, you know, they aren't giving me the end result that I always go for, which, of course, is happiness. I mean, that's what the whole game's about. It's about being happy and, and, um, and uh, experiencing this state called joy. Because, in actuality, that's who we are. So when we experience our true selves, what we're experiencing is joy. And so uh, there's a lot of these non-material things like the feeling of love, the, the wonderful uh, harmonious relationships that you develop in life that bring you more joy than, uh, than a new plastic um, gadget. <laughs> Although I like the plastic gadget too. You know, I mean, they're there too. They have their purpose. But um, um, when you prioritize, um, it comes down more to the relationship thing rather than the material possession um, thing for for me. Now, you know, they're just they're all these love notes are just kind of like my truths. <laughs> but you know what? They can only be my truths through my experience. And that's the only way you develop your truths, too, through your experience. And But my experience has told me that the truth about these material possessions is that they are not as more important as my relationships. And so that's what I focus on. And uh, one of the biggest relationships is, is the one I have with you. You know, I love being a source of self-improvement for other people who are desiring to improve their lives and who are also looking for tools to learn what I call the art of conscious creation. And uh, that's uh, the main thing I teach is this idea that you can create your life in any manner that you choose. And I'm a living example that you can do this. You know, because that's what I'm doing. I'm creating very consciously, and that's how I'm creating these love notes. Uh, it's a, it was a very conscious choice, and I, I'm just glad I did it because I love it. <laughs> and it helps so many people. And, and, you know, to me, when you say simplify, it means service. If you just simplify your main objective in life to be one of service and love, if that's the only focus you have in your life, you will have a fulfilled and rewarding life. There's Hey, it's simple. <laughs> okay, so that's the love note today. And uh, like I say, consider me your source for self-improvement stuff. Uh, my newest product is called the uh, Three Foundation Pillars. 
it's a, a free ebook and audio uh, just go to uh, get blueprint for manifesting.com check it out uh, it's really uh, cool the audio is uh, powerful I love it um, just download it make a CD out of it listen to your car all the time <laughs> and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, simplify 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 the simplest thing you can do is to go out and live in love.